Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ember Sickles video. A uh, bit of a different video for you guys today. Instead of talking about a specific game, I thought I would talk about this gaming magazine that I've been getting for a while and I've been really enjoying. Uh, it's called the Nintendo Force and it's done by Nintendo fans. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Nintendo Power was a magazine that Nintendo published for a long time, I believe, that got cancelled um, in the early 2010s, if I'm correct. And to respond to that, some Nintendo fans, or fans of the Nintendo Power, I suppose, uh, got together and started this magazine uh, called the Nintendo Forces. They think of it as a spiritual successor to the Nintendo Power. Now, I never got the Nintendo Power, so I wouldn't actually know whether it's achieving that, but I've been really enjoying this magazine. Uh, I've had it for, I've been subscribed for more than a year. My first issue was in March and April. So they publish an issue every two months, most of the time. Uh, there are, there have been one or two exceptions where they publish one each month uh, for a certain period of time. But usually it is one every two months. Now, uh, they are on Patreon, so if you want to find them, it uh, should be Nintendo Force Patreon. I don't know exactly what the website's called, but uh, you're going to want to do something like that. Uh, you should be able to find them. And the print issues are $5 for each issue. So $5 Patreon, but you can always do less and then get a digital print. Uh, in case you're wondering, they have not sponsored me, of course, um, and I don't think that's ever going to happen, but I, I just really think they're cool and I think you guys might like them too. So going through this, I'm just going to show you generally what it is from the most recent issue that I've gotten. Actually, the Paper Mario issue they've been making should be coming soon, uh, but it hasn't arrived to me yet, so I'll just do it on the most recent issue I've gotten which was for May and June. It was called Live by the Sword, and obviously the main article was Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, so you can see going through here, it's got the logo up there, and then down here, a lot of the main things that they're going to do, but not everything. Uh, here there will usually, usually be someone cool in gaming that they found and they're talking about, and then over here you can see the different areas that they are. So here they're talking about Lego Super Mario, Animal Crossing New Horizons, that's their review actually. Uh, and all these like Trials of Mana, I believe that's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, and Shovel Knight, you can see all that. And then they'll talk about the cover, and you'll see next thing, all the other stuff here. So you can see there's the next issue, uh, their plans for that, a community section, uh, their reviews, interview, there's a retro section where they talk about older gaming. Uh, previews for new games, features, all the comics, which are done by uh, very talented people. I always laugh at them. Uh, and then the downloads, so that's digital games, uh, reviews and previews as well, I believe. Um, their news, so just the general stuff happening. Uh, a lot of it's just in the real world. And then the inbox, which is, if I turn the page here, where they do the players poll. So you can see here, all uh, if you're on the Patreon, you can answer some questions they'll have and enter this thing, so they'll do all the answers here. Um, and then on the next page they'll show the winner from last time. So whoever wins the player's poll will usually get a reward, something like that. And here you can actually see one of the comics. It's um, A lot of them are progressing storylines, so this is Dr. Chozo and Samus John. Uh, so I think that's really cool. Again, moving on through here, you can see now we have some of the news, so like, of course the uh, pandemic. And then um, Ring Fit, how it's sold out and stuff. Like, they'll have a lot of it, um, a lot of the news happening. And then there's Collector's Corner, so you'll have a lot of the stuff that they, um, the toys coming out and stuff, such like that. Yeah, so generally news, and then the plans for the rest of the two months before their next magazine. Then you go to the download section, and you can see for a while here, we've just got digital games, reviews, and also the other ones. They do reviews out of ten most of the time. Uh, occasionally there will be an exception, but almost all the time that will be what's happening here. So if we move on through here, sorry if this is going a bit fast, then they'll have NF features. And the features will be what's of course on the title. So this one was Live by the Sword, so they're talking about famous swords uh, in video games. So you can see even the Master Sword there, Sword of Mana, all the different stuff. Uh, there's a lot of different ones here, but issues like this are really cool. Uh, I really enjoy them. So that was that, and then again you have another comic here, and then they'll do previews. Uh, so there'll always be a main preview, so in this case it's of course Xenoblade Chronicles. 
uh, in their Animal Crossing issue, it was Animal Crossing New Horizons, uh, stuff like that, and then we'll have a lot of the smaller games that are going to be less popular, probably. Moving on through here. Then you'll have Retro, where they often talk about um, the Nintendo Power issue of that time, um, moving through here, and then they'll do a character profile and their history through the gaming industry, which I think is also really cool. Of course, sorry, Warp Zone is here where they show you what the Nintendo powers were. Uh, usually, at a certain point, they're moving through them. And then you have an interview with uh, someone developing video games. Oh, and this is my favorite comic called Resto. Uh, I think it's hilarious. Really fun. So you got an interview, some of the games they've made. Uh, it's usually about a specific type of game developer or uh, producer. Someone, a specific type of someone involved in the gaming industry. Uh, you got another comic here. And then the reviews, and they'll have the main issue again in the reviews, and then a lot of the smaller games, um, you have Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> so I'm going through this pretty quickly, um, and then they'll have their previous reviews, so the archive of all that. After that, they have community, things that uh, people in the community are actually doing, uh, and then they'll have next, next issue. So their plans actually changed for next issue, but uh, I still think it's really cool. And then there is the back, always. So a lot of cool issues, uh, some of my favorites have been definitely this one, Animal Crossing New Horizons, A Walk with the Animals, uh, and I'm really excited for this new issue that's coming uh, with Origami King because it's going to It's gonna have a dual feature of the partners in the earlier Paper Mario games and I believe the history of Paper Mario, so that's I'm really excited for that. Um, if you always subscribe, if you subscribe too late uh, or you want some of these older issues, then you can go to, I believe, nintendoforce.com or something like that, uh, and you'll be able to buy a lot of their previous issues at um, a lesser price, or a more, <laughs> slightly higher price. Uh, anyways, another main thing that happens is with each of these magazines, you get a double-sided poster, usually involving uh, the game on the cover. So I have a lot of these up, and so I will cut to those now and show you which ones I have put up. One for Yoshi's Crafted World, then one for Super Mario Maker 2, then one for Fire Emblem Three Houses, one for The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, one for Luigi's Mansion 3, one for Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course an extra sized one for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, just so you know, to clarify for a few seconds later, uh, I didn't put up two of the posters because I didn't think they looked nice and uh, I didn't really like the games that were coming up on them. So I didn't put them up just so you know for later. So yeah, as you can see, a lot of different cool posters that they give you. I really like them. I'm especially excited for the one coming, which should be of Origami King uh, and Thousand Year Door. So super excited for that. Uh, other than that, not much else to say. Other than that, I'll just show you some of the issues here. So you, we had a Yoshi's Crafted World one. This was my first issue. Um, then you had a uh, Super Mario Maker 2, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and of course they have many other things in there, those are just the things they're focusing on because it's a new news. Uh, Dragon Quest, uh, and this was the moment where they did Dragon Quest in September and Luigi's Mansion 3 in October, uh, so that was really cool. And then for December, or November and December, I believe, you had Pokemon Sword, but if you flipped it over, you also had Pokemon Shield, and they covered different things, but in the same magazine, which I thought was really nice too. Uh, then, sorry, this one's covered. You had the Tokyo Mirage uh, Encore, or whatever. <laughs> of course, Animal Crossing New Horizons. And then Xenobrake Chronicles. And then uh, Paper Mario the Origami King is coming. I will probably do a follow-up video when that does get shipped, uh, so you can expect that soon. Other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, so go check them out if you're interested, and have a great day.